everyone, welcome to Make It With Mod Podge. I'm Kathy Fillion, and today I'm using two formulas of Mod Podge to create this cute wine and floral centerpiece. I'm using fabric from a couple of dish towels. I'm attaching our rabbits there with the fabric Mod Podge. And then to create these corker curls, this is so fun for creating your own different types of floral picks. I'm using a Mod Podge Stiffy. So let's dive right into this adorable craft. This is such a great technique if you love doing wreaths and you love doing floral design. I'm just using a few basic supplies, but I'm using Mod Podge fabric and Mod Podge stiffy. Now this started out as a dish towel. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut off the part with the rabbit. I'm using two dish towels and I use some pinking shears to cut out that little rabbit design. I'm going to attach it using the fabric Mod Podge. So I'm just applying that to the back of the little rabbit cutout. And then I'm just gonna place it directly onto my little tin bucket. Now you could do this on a glass face, tin, terracotta, wood, whatever you want. And then you'll just press it down and I'm repeating that same design on the other side. That's literally how simple that is. All right, now let's do some of those cork or curls. For the curls, I'm just using the rest of the dish towel and I'm cutting it into strips. You could be really precise here, but you can see I was just doing a quick cut. Now I'm rolling some wax paper around a dowel rod. I did three different sizes of dowel rods. You can also use parchment paper here. Now I'm going to use just an old container and the Mod Podge Stiffy. You're gonna shake up your Stiffy a little bit and you're gonna pour it directly into your old container. Yogurt cups, cottage cheese, things like that are perfect for this. Then you're just gonna soak your strips and then I'm using my fingers to remove any of the excess. So you wanna kind of put it through your fingers and remove the excess. And you can see I've got wax paper underneath me here just for any drips. Then I'm wrapping it around the pole and I use three different dowel sizes for this. And then I let it dry overnight. It dries in about eight hours. You want it to be fully dry before you remove it. And to remove it, you're just gonna peel it off, but look at how that little curl shape stays. And you can do the same technique with ribbons also. I love how cute these turn out. This is 100% cotton fabric and it works best with cotton fabrics or grow grain ribbons. Then to make our little sticks or our plant picks, I just poked a hole and I'm gonna go ahead and thread a bamboo skewer on there. I'm adding a drop of hot glue to secure it. And then I'm gonna wrap the whole thing with floral tape so that that skewer just blends in with the grass on my egg picks. You're just gonna pull that floral tape a little bit and stretch it as you go. I did three different sizes. Then just go ahead and grab whatever foam block you want or some pebbles and go ahead and fill your container in your vase with your cute little curly picks and then add any silk flowers that you want. This container was so cute. I loved it for florals on one side and then a bottle beverage on the other. This would make a great hostess gift or it would be so cute for a centerpiece for your spring and Easter table. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I hope you learned a little bit about Mod Podge Stiffy and how you can create these cool fabric curls. I'll be back here next week with another fun project and technique to share with you. And until then, have a super crafty week. Bye.